Hey guys, Link here, and for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2017 NRL fixtures for round one. Now, it feels like just yesterday, well, maybe not quite just yesterday, but it doesn't feel that long ago that we just watched the Sharks beat the Storm in the grand final, lift up the trophy. So it feels like it's barely, barely over 2016 season. I'm already talking about 2017, but the fixtures have been leaked to the Daily Telegraph, just round one as far as I know. So I'm going to take a look at all the fixtures and sort of go through them, give my thoughts on them. So the round starts off again on Thursday night. We see the Sharks taking on the Broncos. There's a few people going to be missing from this game. Obviously, Benny Barber has just been sacked. Corey Park has retired. It'll be very interesting to see how both these teams sort of go this season. On one hand, we have the home team. We have the reigning premiers. We have the Sharks there. Probably still going to be on a bit of a high after winning their first premiership, playing in front of the home crowd for the first time. Up against the Broncos, who I think are going to be on a bit of a, a downhill slide at the moment, with Corey Parker retiring. A few more players getting a bit older and they haven't really signed anybody as well, apart from Benji Marshall. That'll be very interesting to see whether Benji Marshall actually plays this game. And, you know, if he does, is it going to be in the centers? Like, I don't know how it's going to work out for him there, but I think this should be a really good clash. We then move on to Friday, where we actually have two games. We're going to start off with the first one. It is the first ever 6 p.m. game. Because Monday is gone, they've gone back to two games on a Friday night. So the first game will be played at 6 p.m. And it's at Belmore Sports Ground. It's the Bulldogs up against the Storm. A lost first up for the Bulldogs. Not what I want. It seems like this game is starting to come a bit of a yearly fixture with the Bulldogs playing the Storm at Belmore Sports Ground. I've, I don't know how to feel about this because I like them playing at Belmore in the sense that the atmosphere looks awesome on TV. Would love to go there one day myself. But at the same time, we don't win. We've, the only time we've won at Belmore was, funnily enough, against the Storm. The Storm were the minor premiers last year and they'll be looking to bounce back after losing in the grand final. And I think this would be a great way for them to start their season getting off to a win. But I'm really, really pulling for the Bulldogs to win this. Later that night at ANZ Stadium, we'll be seeing the South Sydney Rabbitohs taking on the West Tigers, and this game is full of rivalries. James Tedesco, Greg Inglis, Aaron Woods, Sam Burgess, Robbie Farrar, Jason Taylor. That's the one we're all waiting for. It'll be interesting to see how Farrar leaving affects both these sides. I mean, obviously, Farrar played a lot of reserve grade last season, so it shows that they can do it without him, but Dean Hallitau's gone. He played hooker mostly for them, so they're going to be having a new hooker. The Rabbitohs obviously have Robbie Farrar there, and I think he will do wonders for them, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. Now, there's three games on Saturday. We're going to start off with the first one, and it is the first dud game of the round. It's the Warriors taking on the Dragons. This is sort of a game I'm not really that excited for, but, I mean, Warriors fans, you're going to see Kieran Foran play for the first time, so... I suppose that's something to, to look out for. And Roger Tuvasashek will be back. So maybe we'll see a rejuvenated Warriors outfit. Dragons, on the other hand. Sorry, guys. Maybe this will be a really awesome game in the sense that Johnson and Tuvasashek and Foran and all those sick players from the Warriors who we know can light it up, will light it up against the Dragons. Moving on to the second game of Super Saturday. Now, I know this might be a big call early on, but I mean... Judging off the last season, I think this is match of the round. It is the North Queensland Cowboys taking on the Canberra Raiders. The Raiders last season, they were so goddamn entertaining. And the Cowboys, well, they were also very, very good. No James Tommy for the Cowboys this year. And uh, I don't think they'll miss him that much, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching the Raiders again this year. I need some more Leipano in my life. Now, the last game of Super Saturday, if you've been going off the last few years, this probably wouldn't be that interesting of the game. I mean, obviously, a few years ago, Roosters were the top team. Titans, not so much. Now, Titans sort of getting up there. Got Jared Hayne, and the Roosters haven't really been that great the last year. But... Let me tell you, I'm really expecting this to be a great game. I think the Roosters will do pretty well this year. For one, Mitchell Pearce will be there to start the season. And for two, they've made some pretty good signings. This will be a pretty good battle of the Haas. We'll see the Titans with Kane Elgy returning. You'd expect him anyways. Kane Elgy and Ash Taylor up against Mitchell Pearce and Luke Keery. Throw in a Ryan James up against Dylan Napper, a Nathan Peets up against Jake Friend. Even a Jared Hayne up against Latrell Mitchell or, or Michael Gordon or whoever ends up playing fullback. I think this one has the potential to be a really, really entertaining game. Now we move on to the last two games, which both happen to be on Sunday. The first being the Sea Eagles taking on the Eels, which is a pretty big rivalry game. Maybe not in the sense that lately both sides have been rivals, but obviously the history behind the clubs, they're both pretty big club rivals. Both these sides had poor 2016s, mind you, for two totally different reasons, but they both had poor 2016s. The Sea Eagles had a poor 2016 purely on the field and off the field as well, but mainly on the field, they couldn't get the results. The Eels, on the other hand, were very impressive on the field, but it was off the field where they really, really struggled. Even with all the injuries, all the suspensions, I mean, Corey Dorman was out, Clinton Gutherson plays 5-8 and bloody kills it. They just seem to be finding players who can come in there and do the job. 
It'll be interesting to see, will Samir Rodriguez be there? Moving on to the last game of the round, it is the Penrith Panthers up against the Newcastle Knights in what I would probably say is the worst game of the round. They really saved the worst for last. Both teams are quite young, so I suppose there's a similarities there, but that's kind of where the similarities end. The Panthers will be looking to push for a top four, you'd think, this year. The Knights will be looking to knock at the wooden spoon. To their credit, the Knights have actually recruited really well. I mean, players like Jamie Bure and that, while they're not superstars, they've done a pretty good job. So I don't expect this to be a total mismatch as much as it would have been last season. I expect the Knights to be a lot more competitive this year. But I mean, I really, the only way to look at this is if the Panthers, like, the Panthers are going to smash them. Anyway, guys, that were my quick thoughts on the round. Leave in the comment section below, what do you think of the fixtures so far, the first round? I mean, I think they're pretty good. There's only two real dud games, in my opinion, and that's the Dragons and the Warriors, and then the last game, Panthers and uh, the Knights. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty good round. Like I said, leave in the comment section below. So that is all the fixtures covered. Leave in the comment section below, what did you think of them? Me, personally, I'm pretty happy with all those fixtures. Maybe I'm not as a Bulldogs fan, because I don't want to take the Storm on first round, but... I mean, overall, as a rugby league fan, I think that's a pretty good first round of footy. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. It really helps out the channel. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at MrLukeOnYT. Instagram is also MrLukeOnYT. So, go ahead and follow me on that. Um, my Facebook page is in the description below. It's just MrLuke if you want to search that up. Search that up. It should come up. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all the plugs out of the way. Check out my FIFA channel. I'm uploading back on that again. So, definitely check that out. And uh, I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye, guys.